howdy all you fine people out there thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and following my channel um, I got a new uh, audio interface and a new computer and I've been redoing my studio and since a lot of you guys have been asking me about the studio I decided to make a quick tutorial about the hardware and software that I'm using to create my backing tracks and record guitars which is what I do the most so enjoy <laughs> Okay, so now everything is in place. I got the Focusrite uh, mic preamp up here and uh, I'm using the Apogee Word Clock together with the uh, Clarity Pre-X. And then I got four preamps right here. It's the uh, Focusrite ESA 428 and I have the Universal Audio preamp right here, the LA610 and the Chandel Germanium preamp up here. And all those six preamps are going into the Focusrite. And then I'm running out of the Focusrite uh, Clarity Pre-X back into the Universal Audio 610 if I want to use the compressor alone. I can patch that in and I'm also running a cable from the Clarity Pre-X into the Chandler Germanium compressor so I can use that compressor if I want to. So that's the hardware. Let's take a look at the software. I am, when I'm programming my backing tracks and making ideas, I'm mostly using Cubase Pro 8.5. I've been using Cubase since forever and um, there are lots of great platforms. Uh, you can use uh, Pro Tools or Logic, or as I do, I use Cubase for MIDI programming. And uh, for keyboards and stringers and bass and stuff like that, I'm using Native Instruments Complete 10. I've been a complete user since Complete 5, and I really dig it. And for drums, I'm using mostly Superior Drummer. It's really easy to work with, and you can drag and drop all your MIDI tracks. It's really easy. And I'm using this rock warehouse uh, these samples and uh, i really dig those so that's my uh, basic setup all my uh, midi stuff and all my uh, my software so let's take a look at how i'm using it 